Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 7 engine arrival story for Lego Jurassic World. We're going to get that level trophy achievement called Mommy's Very Angry. We're going to shoot for that true survivor requirement. We fall a little bit short. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up the average gold brick. I say average because we get one of those every time. So nothing special there. But here you can see we start off in the open world here. And there's a little bit of a blue stud trail that we need to follow in order to get there. Um, just like all of our earlier videos, all the story videos are going to actually have, um, you know, all the story moments, all the in-between levels and such, and uh, basically the complete pathway to where we're going. So we don't really leave anything out. We want you guys to follow along step by step, brick by brick. And speaking of brick by brick, as you follow all the way to a waterway there, you'll find some handhelds that you can climb up on the left-hand side of the cliff. And this will give you access up top, which will allow you to switch to Nick and use your crowbar to pry open that giant rock, which at this point gives us a little bit of a building blockage down below that we can kind of assemble into, uh, looks like some little totem poles that we can hop across. So, oh, to the, yeah, we're on our way. We're going to go ahead and switch on over to, uh, you know, Baldy here and let him do some damage with his old shrapnel gun. Actually, it's more of a dart gun, but... Uh, I said dart to gun, Ugh. and uh, we'll we'll try to uh, get out there and get that rope. Now this one's a little bit tricky. I, I'm sure this was user error and not the game, but uh, I had a hard time hitting that rope on the first couple of jumps. So I use the female because they have a little bit of extra leap power, and I'm gonna run all the way to the end and realize, wait a minute, where am I going? But there's a dung pile, so we'll go ahead and hop in head first, see what we can find. Let's see, what does she find? Uh, well, we got a couple of bits bouncing around, so we'll build those up, and my guess it's going to be a bo 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 boinger And look at that. It was a correct guess. So it's a little bit of a different jump pad, but we'll take it up and roll to a cutscene. This is as good a place as any for base camp. This is a game trail, Mr. Ludlow. If you want me to run your little camping trip, I'm in charge. Okay. Okay! Peter, get into the outrigger. You're closing in on her. The one with the big red horn, the Pompadour. Simply put, InGen is seeking limited partners to defray some of our expansion costs. You don't bring people halfway around the world to visit a zoo. You bring the zoo to them. Mr. Hammond knew this before he ever dreamt of an island. He began construction on an amphitheater. San Diego is the perfect site. It could be completed and ready to receive visitors in less than a month. We're taking these animals out of here. Back to the mainland. Uh, I think I should tell you guys. Hammond told me these people might show up. He did send a backup plan. What backup plan? Me. Rut row. All right, another little secret mission here we're going to go on. This one we actually find... Uh, that there's a couple of sick dinos, or at least one sick dino. We gotta go and help them out. So we're gonna slide on in, and uh, basically, this is really a sabotage mission. And so as we get in, we actually come across some bad guys, and they go, hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. And they all charge us. See, here they are. And uh, we will go ahead and cha-cha-cha-cha-cha them. I'm a little disappointed, though, that there are no studs dropping from these guys. The Batman, the last Batman game, as you might remember, the more guys you killed in rapid succession, the more studs you got with a kind of a mini multiplier. So, kind of missing that, I won't lie. It was kind of a nice little feature that was uh, implemented. But once you take out the goons in question, go ahead and approach the big gate with a lock on it. Go ahead and tap the icon indicated when it's in the lighter blue section. And uh, it'll go ahead and pinch that bolt, break it down, and a sick dino will fall out. So once that happens, go ahead and switch on over to Sarah and hop onto that dino dung and see what you can find. Right as you do that, though, we actually see the dinos like, and then a bunch of bad guys come running in. So we got to get our Jackie Chan on again and cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. We get a few studs that time because we took out some of the uh, area items. 
but more guys just keep coming so we're gonna advance up the hill and essentially as you probably noticed there is uh, three items we need to grab in order to help heal that sick dino and all three of the items are actually gonna be up inside this camp here so first off get inside and there's gonna be at least one more guy jumps you and depending on how far you go into the camp that'll kind of determine how many more guys will attack you right away but you'll notice right off to the left hand side as you enter there is another dino dung pile and I don't know what it is with Sarah. She sure loves diving in that dung. So we'll go ahead and let her do it one more time at least. And she pulls out what appears to be like a blue ice cream cone. I'm not sure. That was a little weird. There's a lot of ice cream in this game for, I mean, I guess it's a, it's a park, like an amusement park. So there's probably like, you know, cotton candy and ice cream and such. But it's a little weird when you pull it out of a dino dung pile. You know what I'm saying? All right, so uh, at the campfire, just to the right of it, there is a weird kind of looking item. Go ahead and smash that up and use the bricks to build up what appears to be some sort of a lever that you can turn, and it actually puts out the fire. So we put out the fire. It was always burning as the cauldron was turning. Sorry, all right. It's been a while since I broke out in a song. You know, I like to do that every once in a while. But you might have noticed when you did put out the fire that it actually gave us one of the other items needed. So we swooped that up and took it down and gave it to the old Dino. Now back up top all the way over here in the corner, uh, in the upper right corner, there is a uh, another one of those little pry bar spots. Go ahead and pry it open and look around. And Oh, it's a banana. We found ourselves a banana. It's either that or it's a boomerang. One of the two. That's a pretty... Weird shaped boomerang, batarang, banana rang. Ha ha! There we go. All right, so it's the third and final item we needed to help this dino. So he looks to be a little bit healthier. And oh, look at that! We can switch to him and roar! I'm a monster! We'll go ahead and charge. See this right here? Oh, oh, look at that! Some baddies. What? So we'll go ahead and charge those baddies with the dino, because why not? And then we'll charge the wall. Booyakasha! Make sure you grab the bluesy that it drops. There's quite a few golds in there, too. So Silvers are always great to grab, but, you know, without a multiplier, they're, uh, you know, oh, no, I won't say a waste of time. Look at that, I stomped out the fire. That's right, it's my campfire. And as you notice, there's another crack in the wall up in the top side there, so go ahead and use the dino to bust it open. And then, actually, a bunch of bouncing bricks fall to the ground, so we'll go ahead and select either of the characters and build those up. And as we hop up and out of here, we see that the, more guys are coming, but this dino is actually going to go ahead and attack them. Not worried about us, because we saved him. Her. Him, her. Not sure which it was, but uh, did not take a course on how to uh, detect gender on a dino. Sorry about that. Okay, now that we're up top, there's a few baddies that come from the left-hand side. Once you dispose of them, go ahead and make sure that you are Sarah. And jump up in the little circle indicating that the agility ability is needed. That's kind of fun to say, agility ability. All right, so once you do free that, uh, or pull the lever, you free a big old Stegosaurus. And the uh, Stego not only kicks down with a blue stud, but also gives you a little bit of a uh, joyride, so to speak. Because you can roll around and swap that tail around and take out some bad guys. Now, uh, there is a mini cage in the back. You can see it's kind of glowing orange in the middle right side of your screen there. We're actually going to need to get this Stegosaurus all the way over there and use that awesome tail to smack it open. Apparently, there is a young one in there, and we're going to go ahead and free that young one. So, spin to win, give him the old back back swing access and booyakasha the little guy comes out with joy Woo but on his way out he actually kind of uh, takes out some stuff here so we see that there are two generators now and there are two dino crash spots on either well, one on either side so we're gonna go ahead and uh, take out these last few guys grab a few studs and then my guess is we'll probably switch on over to the other guy. But oh, but first, go ahead and jump into the cage where the dino was freed from and dive into another dung pile and grab a key that we can actually use on this other cage holding in a couple of, uh, what are those, triceratopses? Yeah, I think that's what, I, my, my, you know, but dinos, I, I should just call them dinos because then I'll be safe, but then I just sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and smash both of those generators. And uh, once we do, building bricks start bouncing on either side. Now, as fun as it is to kind of run and smash into things, you probably are going to need to switch to your character at some point. And uh, we'll go ahead and build these up. And look, it's a light tree like you'd see at like a drag racing uh, situation there at the old drag strip. Uh, goal is here to 
basically build them both up. Once you do, it triggers the light tree and a little cinematic scene, and, uh, and we'll see you on the other side of that. Bam, 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 bam. Dun, 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 dun. One might say it'd be up and running. <laughs> He's got a broken leg. Let's get in the car before they hear us. Out of your mind? Shh, Do you have any voice. idea what that is? On, <gasps> You're nuts. That should make an interesting chapter in your book. All right, here we are taking control of our fearless uh, saviors here. In this case, we are Ian Malcolm hanging out on this rope. I, I gotta say, although this this wasn't a terrible spot. Um, I, I wasn't really that pleased with how the functionality of this little section was. It was really difficult. Basically, it, it knocks you down further than you climb up. Like, you climb up really slow. And it's there's a lot of blue studs, or it's just studs in general, I guess, that are there to kind of coax you into moving towards them. And it really throws you off, and it sets you up for getting hit, which knocks you down. But uh, essentially, you'll get to a certain spot, spot. The cinematic will s kick, and you'll actually see the truck kind of pivot. At that point, it gives you the indication to go ahead and hit the switch characters or tag characters button and go ahead and switch on over to Eddie Carr, who's upstairs. And he actually can be a hunter, so we'll go ahead and use him to uh, follow the trail here after picking up that item under the truck. And we'll find a bunch of building bricks that actually allow us to build up into kind of the second half of what appears to be a winch. So we'll grab the other side of the winch from the first truck that we didn't need to repair, and we'll go ahead and spam that button indicated to go ahead and attach the old winch rope. And now we can hop in the old truck. This is one of my favorite parts of the movie because there's that little Mercedes just... And I mean, it just reminds me of like a little four-wheeler trying to tow like a truck out or something because it's such a small vehicle trying to pull such a large recreational vehicle. But it's fun nonetheless to kick dirt around and slide around and get all muddy. And eventually, uh, it'll pull the truck kind of closer to you and indicate that, yep, you need to switch characters back to Ian. And, uh, you know, this part, you know, I probably should have sped this up a little bit more because I get a little, uh, I don't know, anxious and I try to get a lot of these studs and I'm trying to make good ground and I'm thinking, okay, I got to be smarter than this game here. I got to make this recording look good and like I know what I'm doing. But I have a problem. I can't let those blue studs go sliding by me. I don't know. I probably should seek some help for it because it's tough. Like, the one goes by and I have to swing for it. But uh, after a couple slams, it sure seemed uh, a lot longer in real time while I was playing than it did. Oh, that's right. We come back for more. Oh, we switched back to Eddie. All right. Whew. Didn't want to deal with any more of that. All right. Now you got a couple copies that jump you. Go ahead and take those guys out. You can see that the winch has actually uh, failed us, so we'll go ahead and smack that around with our wrench a little bit. And uh, at this point, ooh, it's a bluesy. See what I'm saying? I have, a, I have a serious problem. We'll go ahead and hop in the truck, though, once it's uh, once the blue is in your bag of goodies. And uh, we'll uh, hop in the truck and try to keep the icon in that lighter area again. The longer you keep it there, the faster that'll happen. And uh, then hop out again, tag one last time to old Ian Malcolm climbing up, and try not to get hit by debris falling. But uh, as luck would have it, you know I'm going to get smacked at least twice. So there is the first time. Even though I tried to avoid it, I still failed miserably. And I was able to uh, grab that blue stud back so I didn't lose any ground on that really. But oh, pulled uh, a little too early there and got smacked again. And here we go again. Oh, long swing. Oh, we're going the other way. Oh, oh, oh. See, not my favorite part of the game. Not my least favorite part of the game either. So... Definitely could have done without it, though. I will just say that. So once you get to the top, the cinematic jumps, and uh, we're off. And uh-oh, 
Mommy is very angry. Communication equipment's been destroyed. Oh, We're on. stuck here, ladies and gentlemen, and stuck together thanks to you people. At least we came prepared. There's a communication center here, in the old operations building. If we can get here, we can send a radio call for the airlift. <laughs> All right, engine arrival level complete. Free play unlocked. Mommy's very angry. Ang angry trophy achievement is now ours and uh hey we are getting closer to finishing up the second movie and being halfway done with the story so that's a pretty awesome thing we got a handful of studs skipped out on all the mini kits as you were forewarned in the front menu screen there we did pick up a couple of characters that were uh, outside of our control this is all just simply for completing the level itself so uh nothing you could miss so that's why we didn't kind of label it at the beginning but uh, add them a couple to our uh, character and vehicle tokens, but we'll, we'll take them all, trust me. We'll have to buy all those that are in the dark, kind of shaded area later, but we'll, we'll get to that. We, uh, we're up to the old whopping nine gold bricks out of 275, so a long ways to go still, but that's all right. We enjoy the journey. Speaking of which, that's going to wrap up LEGO Jurassic World Level 7 Story, Mommy's Very Angry Trophy Achievement. And, uh, hey, it was pretty fun, other than climbing up that pole or rope with uh, Ian. Had a blast. So head on over to uh, Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. We also have Instagram, G+, and Twitch. And uh, you can also find HappyThumbsGaming.com, which is the home of our product and gaming reviews, and more importantly, trophy achievement guides. We also have stickers available. If you guys are interested in buying stickers, I know there's been a kind of an influx in, uh, I guess, uh, popularity of purchasing our stickers. So if you want to jump on that wagon and join that, uh, feel free. Otherwise, for me, as always, until next time. Do 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 do.